hello hello happy friday i hope you had a wonderful thanksgiving yesterday thank you for joining me on this black friday today i'm gonna do another research video we are going to do yarn so if you don't know some yarn can be really really valuable and there are a few things you should look for when you see yarn that will help give it away i'm going to tell you that i'm going to go over the types of yarn at the end of this video that way you'll be a little more informed and yeah these skeins of yarn sold for unbelievable money if you can find them for 50 cents or a dollar a piece at a thrift store an estate sale a garage sale you could make hundreds of dollars Right, so I'm going to show you some of the highest yarn out there that you can hope to find and I will tell you I have found some yarn that has been very valuable so most of these are going to be lots actually I think all of them are lots but if you find the same yarn and I'm going to show you some don't even matter if it's the same kind of yarn you can lot them up and make good money so this first one sold for over a hundred and twenty dollars so this is a Scotia print cashmere yarn lot filatura de crosa five balls the five sold for a best offer over a hundred and twenty dollars these the big thing Scotia is the name but watch for cashmere and I am going to point out the types of yarn throughout this video and then I'll do a little synopsis at the end of the different kinds of yarn and this one you can figure they got close to $20 per skein or per ball of yarn which is a great great price up next these have some really bright crazy colors which is something i look for so you can look for brands you can look for types of yarn you can look for colors there are so many different things you can look for and the nicest thing with a lot of these they will either have a name brand you can look up on ebay and see what they are selling for or they will have a upc code if you're lucky and can get to it and scan it and see what that exact yarn has sold for so these next are a beautiful purple and green this is noro silk garden chunky color nine dye lot it was 10 balls new with tags they sold for 124 dollars and seven cents so about 12 dollars per ball so if you pick these up at a yard sale or estate sale for a dollar you would be 12 times in your money so keep an eye out for noro yarn this one is silk silk is another thing you definitely want to keep your eye out for when it comes to yarn all right up next is another type of yarn you definitely want to keep an eye out for there was a ton of it in the top selling and that is mohair this is a lot of four jedifra kid surrey kid mohair alpaca and silk so it was a total of i believe 12 so it was a total of 12 that sold for 136 dollars a little over ten dollars a piece so keep your eye out for mohair alpaca and silk this one had all three types of yarn and that was a great sale all right this is the next one tons of them high dollar and another thing that can make yarn go high is if it was a really really desired color pattern and they no longer make it so these next ones are some sock yarn these are opal sock yarn joy rare full set of eight skeins they were 75 percent wool 25 percent nylon the eight sold for 160 dollars so 20 dollars a piece keep your eye out for sock yarn it does seem to sell very very well and this was awesome because they had so many different colors up next is some silk the brand of this is noro keep an eye out there were a lot of these in the high dollar yarn sales 
This is four 547 yard balls of Noro Uchiwa cotton and silk worsted weight. This is number 10 Sapporo. The four balls sold for 156. That is just shy of $40 per ball great great sale on that again with a lot of these yarns you might get lucky and come across a ton of them at a yard sale or an estate sale so keep your eye out for silk yarn up next is a brand that i find all of the time and if i find it cheap i will pick it up it is very common it is sold at walmart it is sold at your regular craft store that is lion brand but if you can find it in mass lots with the same dye lot a lot of people look for that because the colors can vary a little bit between dye lots even if they are technically the same color but if you can pick up a lot of the same color the same dye lot i pick them up even if they're not the same dye lot but that does help and you would want to put that in your title if yours were from the same dye lot so i want to show you common brands of yarn can also sell for good money this is lion brand skein homespun yarn boston rose was the color it was a lot of 10 of them they sold for 159.99 so almost 16 dollars a piece here i want you to see this is one of the lion brand yarn tags they do have quite a few throughout the years but that was a great sale at almost 16 dollars a skein 160 dollars so watch out for lion brand all right, this next one is something that you can do if you don't want to take the time to split the yarn up. So let's say you find a tote of yarn. I typically will ask how much for all, and you could just list it all in a lot, and either somebody who knits or crochets or another reseller could pick it up, and you could still make a good profit. This is, it says, yarn lot you don't want to miss all new this was an auction this one got 43 bids and sold for $169.50 here you can see that yarn up close so there are multiple different kinds different brands different colors and this whole lot sold for $169.50 so watch for lots even if you don't want to split them up if it had been me I would have split these in to the different types and colors and brands but you don't have to this was a great sale $169.50 all right up next is something you definitely need to watch for and that is wool almost anything wool I typically will pick up I've sold I think it was six or eight skeins for about $50 not a ton of money but I paid only five dollars for them at Goodwill this next set sold for a little bit more this is a lot of 11 balls we are knitters is the brand wool peruvian jumbo 200 gram natural yarn this lot of 11 sold for 165 dollars so that is a great sale and these are just plain white not a ton of color so keep your eye out for wool up next is another set of lion brand and i have actually found quite a few of this exact yarn these are black and this lot sold for great money this is lion brand fun fur yarn mega lot it was 65 skeins they sold for 187 dollars so around three dollars a piece but again if you can find these for 50 cents or even a dollar that would have been close to a hundred dollar profit all right this is the next brand i have to say looks fancy looks fancy it would catch my eye if i saw yarn in a box i would stop and take a look at it i suggest you do as well this is Annie Blatt Absolute 100% Natural Colored Angora Caviar 6 Balls sold for $180, so about $30 a ball. And again, they are in a box. They are in a box. If you see yarn in a box, you might want to take a look. All right, up next is some more, some more yarn in a box. I never knew yarn came in a box but it does and this one was also a great sale this is lena grossa puna Dwe 
pale rose three boxes of 10 so it was a total of 30 skeins they sold for $180 so six dollars per skein I'm not sure the original cost some of this yarn might have been high but again the way that I tend to find yard yarn is in lots at thrift stores estate sales garage sales and normally you can make a bundle deal so definitely again keep your eye out for that yarn in boxes up and next is some more angora so definitely make sure you watch out for angora these are actually what look to be pretty small skeins and they sold for about three dollars each this is a lot oh actually close to five to six dollars each this is a hundred percent angora lanes annie flat dark gray 36 skeins from the same lot so as I said a little bit ago them being from the same lot is important these 36 sold for $180 I do believe these are pretty small skeins and that was a great sale almost $200 all right up next is another brand that I see quite a bit and that is Karen so again some of these more well-known mass-produced brands can still sell for good money this is a lot of 27 Yarnspirations Karen Cakes 9,909 total yards they did do free shipping these sold for $209 so about eight to nine dollars a piece and that was a great sale so watch out for Karen up next is some more Angora and Angora yarn is made from rabbits I actually used to have a friend who made yarn from her Angora rabbit and here in Florida her rabbits had to live in an air-conditioned shed year-round because they are so fluffy they are really really pretty rabbits if you haven't seen them look them up check them out and they are used and they they are not killed to make the yarn they are not killed to make the yarn so it's pretty cool they are very pretty rabbits and this is a very nice yarn this is 100% Angora Rabbit ACA Supreme Yarn made in France. So that's another thing. Watch for made in France, made in Italy. A lot of the yarn made in other countries can be more valuable. This is two boxes, 16 rolls. They sold for $200. So that was a great sale. Angora is a higher price yarn. So if you see it, definitely, if it is a good price, I would pick it up. All right, next is some yarn homespun in Norway. So that is another country that did come up quite often in my yarn search. So watch for Norway on yarn as well. This is a lot of 16 skeins of vintage natural yarn homespun in Norway, new old stock RYGJA. These sold for $195. So it is over $10 per skein. I wanted to show you their tag up close here and show you that it does say homespun in Norway on the tag so it would be easy to identify. Up next I don't know how many skeins are in this but Hirschner's is another name that you can look for. This is like a big comforter bag filled with yarn and perhaps the person bought it at a yard sale and just tossed it up on eBay as is. It was a great sale. This is a lot of skeins Afghan yarn two ply by Hirschner's and it was oh it's a lot of 20 I missed that with all of their numbers I think those are either color numbers or lot dye numbers they sold for just under ten dollars per skein they were listed at $1.99 the buyer did make an offer but I believe it was over $190 from where it fell in my search all right, up next is something I've never honestly given a second look at when I see them, but now I will start, and that is cones of yarn. This is a lot of 12 Newton's Yarn Country Knitting Cones, brown, green, blue, white, and more, sold for $138, so over $10 a cone. I wanted to show you here up close. I don't know if they all were Newtons, but you can see the Newtons Yarn Country bag on the left. So I'm assuming these were found with the yarn, and that was a great sale at almost $138. These next ones are 
absolutely beautiful. I definitely would have noticed these and I hope you would too or at least you will now. This is Explore Knits and Fibers eight skein lot Death Valley National Park. They sold for $225. Here you can see that tag up close and it does say Explorer Fields and Knit. And you can see there are four of one color and four of another. Beautiful, beautiful dyed yarn. And that was a great sale at $225. All right, up next is some merino wool, which another thing that you can definitely keep an eye out for. This is Loopy Mango Merino number five, lot of 20 skeins. There were eight lilac, three camel, and some singles. This looked like a little more bit of chunky yarn, and they did sell for over $10 a skein at $225. Next is some more wool, and this one is tweed wool. This is Rowan DK Tweed, 100% wool, lot of 25 skeins, 50 grams each. Shade is 857 peat. It is knitting yarn. They sold for $239.95. Here is that tag up close. So it definitely is very easy to read. Rowan Dark Tweed, 100% new wool. And you would be able to identify that if you were to find it. And that was a great sale at $239. All right, up next is some actual chunky yarn. If you have not seen, they make really, really cool blankets and different stuff out of this yarn. It's like that big around. It's, pr it's pretty, pretty chunky. Makes some cool thing. It is definitely big to ship. I actually have sold some of this and it is a heavy yarn. It could go into oversize, but this was a great sale. This is a lot of chunky grande big yarn. 12 blue green and 12 pastel jumbo these sold for 236 dollars and 40 cents so make sure to watch out for chunky yarn just make sure you charge appropriately on shipping because this yarn's a little bit heavier than it looks all right up next is kind of a cream beige color and it is cashmere if you don't know, I, I pick up almost anything cashmere when it comes to clothing, jackets, blankets. Cashmere is expensive and that goes for yarn as well. This is State Cashmere brand, 100% cashmere yarn on big cone. It is only one cone, one cone, a two pound cone of cashmere sold for $273.75. So if you haven't started looking for yarn, I think this one might make you start paying attention. All right, up next is a big lot of Red Heart, which again, very, very common brand. I see it quite a bit. So keep your eye out. And if you want, lot it up instead of splitting it up. I personally choose to split it into lots of the same color, but you can do like this seller did and put them all together. This is brand new brown, cream, purple, and multicolored. You can see they do have them separated into stacks of the different colors. And this lot sold for $280. Again, a lot of times at my Goodwill, they will sell off totes of yarn just the way it was donated. So keep your eye out if you have multiples of the same color in there and it's a good price, I would pick it up. My last two totes I bought from Goodwill were $15 for standard size totes full of yarn. Up next is some absolutely beautiful dark purple mohair. This is Colinette hand dyed mohair, 11 skeins sold for $275. Great sale, close to $25, $30 per skein. Beautiful, beautiful yarn as you see. Keep out for the name Colinette. All right, up next is some more Rowan. This is a name that came up before. Here it is again, so definitely a brand you want to remember. 
This is Rowan Botany Donegal Tweed plus a lot of 35 skeins. Alice Starmore, Aaron Cardigan was vintage. This lot sold for $325, so just shy of that $10 per skein mark. Again, if you can find them for a dollar or two, you were five to ten times in your money on yarn. And this was a great sale at $325. All right, up next is some beautiful silk merino yarn. This is Madeline Tosh silk merino yarn, lot of 12 skeins. The color was fire opal. This color is absolutely beautiful. These 12 sold for $400, so over $30 a skein. Absolutely great sale at $400. All right, we are up to our top five selling yarns. Are you ready? Let's go. This is a lot of 50 skeins. Loops and Threads was the brand. Cozy Wool Tweed and Wool Blend in six colors. This lot of 50 sold for $449.50. So again, just shy of that $10 a piece mark. And here you can see the tag up close. Wool Tweed Cozy. And you can also see the original price was $7.99. So they got more than the original price. And that was a almost $500 sale. All right, up next is something we haven't seen yet in this video. Do you remember the old latch hook rug kits? This is a lot of latch hook rug yarn. Sold for about $5 a piece, but it was a $500 sale. This is a lot of 100 pre-cut latch hook rug yarn, Bucilla, Brunswick, and Rug Crafters, NOS, which does stand for New Old Stock, sold for a best offer from $525. You can see, I remember these because I used to do these as a child. So keep your eye out also for big lots of the short cut latch hook rug yarn. This next sale is absolutely crazy because it was only six skeins and it sold for almost $600. $100 per skein, absolutely <laughs> crazy. This is six skeins of Deborah Norville Premier Cotton Soft Silk Yarn, four blue, two watermelon. They did accept a best offer from $567 for six. Absolutely insane sale. Again, if you are not looking at yarn, please do. All right, the next one sold for about $4.50 per skein but it was over a $500 sale so again if you find a big lot of yarn and it is cheap get it this is Fibra Natura Lynx organic cotton 132 yarn balls this was for a specific buyer so a yarn seller probably cut them a deal but they bought the 132 for $561 absolutely great sale all right, we are up to our top selling lot of yarn and it was a best offer on a $1,500 price. It was a lot of yarn, but $1,500 for some yarn. If you see a lot of yarn, pick it up. This is a vintage lot of 400 skeins of Rug Crafters Tapestry Polyester Fiber Yarn, sold for $1,500. You can see here in the picture, it is a ton of them, and the brand on this is Tapestry Yarn, so watch out for that name, and that was a great, great sale. All right, so I am through showing you all the sales, I want to go over the types of yarn, at least the really, really good selling ones, so you have a little bit more information on them. First is alpaca. If you do, do not know, alpacas look kind of like llamas. I confuse the two sometimes. Their fur is very, very soft, and alpaca yarn can be very, very expensive. 
And then cotton, we all know, very, very common, one of the more seen types. But one of the things you want to watch out for cotton is that organic cotton can sell a little bit higher and 100% cotton as well. A lot of yarn is polyester, so keep your eye out for cotton as well. Next is cashmere, which we all know is incredibly, incredibly soft. Cashmere is actually made from goat fur. So if you did not know that, there are cashmere goats and that is where cashmere yarn comes from. Watch out for cashmere yarn, cashmere sweater, jackets, blankets. It sells really high. And then there is wool, which I have said over and over in this. Wool is made from sheep and wool even wool is really scratchy to me i personally don't like like i itch just thinking about it but wool yarn and wool blankets tend to sell very very well so watch out for wool next is mohair mohair is similar to cashmere it comes from goats as well so we are learning all kinds of things about yarn mohair is typically blended with silk or a different material to make it a little bit stronger and a little bit fluffier but mohair is extremely extremely soft next is silk which is made from the silkworm silk is very expensive i love selling silk scarves and different silk shirts and things like that silk yarn if you see it is very very expensive Next is merino wool and it is from a specific type of sheep, a merino sheep. So keep your eye out for merino. This is another high selling yarn. All right, I am not gonna go over cotton, polyester, and linen. Those are a little more common. The last one I'm gonna tell you about is Angora, and I spoke a little bit about it earlier. Angora comes from rabbits and it is another yarn that is very, very soft. So keep your eye out for Angora. That is another high selling yarn. That is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about yarn with me. Watch for it. It sells for big money. If you have not come and join me on Whatnot, do so. Today is Friday. I will be leaving tomorrow to go to the mountains for my birthday, which is on Sunday. So I am not going to be back on Whatnot probably until Thursday next week, but definitely give me a follow over on Whatnot. Join, get your free $15 if you haven't done that. If you like these research videos, let me know down in the comments. Share with your friends if you find it interesting or crazy what this yarn can sell for. And let them know about my channel if you think they would like reselling. I would really appreciate it. It would help me and help the channel to grow. And I appreciate all the time you spent watching. Please enjoy this weekend with your friends and family. I hope again you had an absolutely wonderful Thanksgiving. I will see you on Monday with a high dollar what sold and then I will be live Tuesday from the mountains. Bye for now.